Welcome to the ninth video illustrating the block series end-to-end -end scenario using BOB, Sardel, Gateway and SAP UI5. My name is still Thea Hillenbrand and I will discuss some pitfalls in modifying scenarios. Let's start with the nasty things in development. Incorrect data and dumps. Let me show the effects in the Gateway client. For the first one, select a product and use the response as request. In principle, updates work. We have already tested this in an earlier phase of the project, but change the product name, execute the put request, and then select the data again. Here we see that the modification is just ignored. We verify the modification of the price. The same procedure works. For the second effect, select a product and navigate to the business partner via the navigation property. This works fine and you would like to update the business partner data following the gateway association as well. This does not work. but provokes a dump. Similar situations, but different causes. The first one is a limitation of the SADL gateway integration in 740. Implicit views with SADL are read-only. They are not updatable. At least, the joint data is not updatable. The second one is a limitation of gateway and the OData specification with respect to updates via associations. As the OData specification is not precise enough on the topic, SAP Gateway decided not to support it. Nevertheless, following associations is very comfortable as you do not have to link the data by yourself. But we are not completely lost. The OData response of a navigation contains a direct link to the target instance in the metadata section. You can use it and you will stay on the same level of implementation abstraction. You do not need to know how the objects are related, but only that they are related. And that's the way to solve the problem. By the way, create scenarios via associations are supported. It is necessary to keep the references up to date. But what about the SADL limitation? This is a serious one, because it means that we cannot model the service the way we did. We have to introduce an own entity set for each joint BOPF node, for the product name node and for the address node. Using the BOPF associations, we can create gateway associations to link the corresponding entity sets. The mapping works again with SADL. So, there is a way to work around the SAR limitation. Let's briefly go through the changes in the gateway service. First, we add the product name, entity type, and set. In this case, we do not want to address an entity instance explicitly. Thus, it is sufficient to use the BOB DB key as key. Otherwise, it's all the same. Definition of an entity type, creation of the related entity set, and a mapping to the data source. We go again, swall the pop-ups and drag and drop the related fields. And last but not least, we have to define the association product name. I do not want to go through the whole definition again, so just jump to the association mapping. It is a navigation property of the product header, so we have to enhance the mapping of the product header set. Here we are. Relate the associations with drag and drop, save and generate service. In the gateway client, we can test the new set. First, we select the product instance. Then we use the navigation property in the path to navigate to the product name. Here we find the direct link to the product name. Using this link, we select the name directly. Now we can use the response as request and change the name.
and this time the name is changed. That's how we can proceed on the UI, using the navigation property to navigate to the association target, and there we get the direct link to the instance in the service metadata section. This one we can finally use for update requests. The same applies for the next entity set, the business partner address. So far so good. But what's the use of implicit view building with Sardle if you have to create the entity sets anyway? It is a very comfortable tool for object worklists or fact sheets for all read-only applications. That's half the battle, or even more. But if you work on update scenarios, the best advice is to create an entity set for each POPF node and gateway associations which are mapped to POPF associations. We can use these findings now in the UI implementation.